So this is about VPS maintenance. For my work, I have to uh, maintain uh, and take care of uh, multiple VPSs, some for staging purposes, development, and some for production, and some for clients. And uh, this is one of our production uh, VPS. I just uh, logged in through SSH uh, using this command here. And uh, then I ran the space status running this command which I'll show you again let's say let's go to df minus h basically what h does is converts all these two gigabytes or megabytes and you know something readable the other nodes I'm not too worried about because they stay pretty static but this is the one that matters the most. This is the root, and uh, as you can see, out of 199, 185 has been used, and uh, it's growing fast. So this is something we have to do uh, on a weekly basis and check up on it. Uh, this time, unfortunately, I was busy and I was late, so now that I go in, I find myself in this situation. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run a few commands to show how I'm able to reduce the space by deleting unnecessary files and how to find them. Let's do it. All right, we are back. And before I get into it, uh, I wanted to go over a few basic commands so that uh, can be handy when you actually decide to do on your own so basically the folder we are in would be pwd present working directory so it's going to show that and let's go to the root like that and ls is the list of files and folders and let's go to a better folder so that we can uh, demonstrate them better Let's go to home and then ls this is something you just uh, write, type up a initial few letters and then hit the tab key and uh, it fills it out for you so long names are no problem at command prompt so let's go in there and let's do a ls again now this is the normal list and then if you want to see hidden files we do ls minus a all those uh, file names that has dot in front of them they are usually hidden so and then if we want to see a longer list we do ls minus l right and now as you can see the screen is being filled up right so to clear the screen we will type clear right and then do ls minus l again now here's a quick tip if you don't want to type uh, clear all the time so uh, you can type in alias c equals clear and now if you hit C, it's going to run that command. It's going to be true only for uh, this specific shell, but, uh, and, but you can make them permanent uh, by putting them in your uh, bash profile file. I mean, I have one of the videos, previous videos that uh, I can refer. Uh, you can see and I show how I manage my aliases. Anyway, let's get back to ls minus L and the ones with the d are directories and uh, the dashes are files and l's are links basically if it's a uh, longer uh, folder for example let's see if i can find an ls minus l a yes like this one when when the folder is way uh, inside uh, so you can actually create a link uh, but that's that command is out of the scope here so I'm just gonna quickly go next one so let's say once again let's hit C again clear and LS minus LA 
Now, as you can see, you're seeing a longer list showing the directory and folder, but if you want to organize by time, you can do ls minus lt. It will organize them according to time, according to the creation date, the, the latest are going to be at the top, and the uh, old ones at the bottom. But if you want to do reverse that, ls minus ltr, just an r is reverse, and then you'll see that it actually did it upside down. So the latest on at the bottom and the oldest at the top. Now, why LTR is very important is because in a command prompt, it can be a very long list, and you want to see the latest file at the bottom. Uh, in this kind of cases, let's go um, one step back. And if I do an ls, there's so many folders, right? But if I do an ls minus l, as you can see, there's so many that uh, the files are getting cut off. So in this case, if you do an ls minus ltr, then you get to see the latest file at the bottom. And uh, that's why in a command prompt situation, the reverse one comes in very handy. So let's go back in. All right. Now, also, as you can see, the file and folder size are coming here in kilobytes. But if you do an ls minus l, T R H that gives you a little bit of a human readable format but even though they're all 4k here folders you'll always get that but in files case you'll get the right numbers but uh, to find uh, file and folder size uh, we have better commands for it if we want to see the um, files and folders size wise uh, we use let's say du minus s star and we want to sort this sort in a reverse order which is uh, the largest are going to be on top and that is also going to be human readable and then we want to see top 10 of them top 10 files or folders this is how we see it but if we just add an H to it now we have a, a gigabyte and kilobyte and all that right we can find some explanation right here all right so this time let's see we want to see only um, the folders not the files so just hit a and we get to see them as folder but then if you want to see human readable add h so this is pretty much uh, how we isolate uh, the large and small file size or folder sizes and um, that's how we decide what to get rid of or how to you know how to quickly uh, save save some space by getting rid of the larger files but um, to see the overall system uh, space status as i showed you before it's just df but with the df uh, once again these are still unreadable the space so if we do df minus h that way we get to see the you know human readable format again but i have a much better command uh, which is a little bit more complex that i use to actually get to necessary files and uh, quickly find out the largest file list and that's a little bit large and i got this from liquid web support
This is a very long one. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically using the find and uh, looking at the home directory and type is F means file and size we're mentioning uh, more than three, 300 megabyte. And if that, uh, you know, that is found, then uh, it's gonna go ahead and give me a file list, long list of file, uh, human readable uh, size and uh, including these, you know, hidden files and such because that A and uh, this awk print, this part, is just to how we want to see the results formatted on the screen so let's go ahead and hit enter now we get to see the really large files at the top in some cases it's mixed in but still it's gonna grab the largest ones and create a list for you and give you the exact location so that way what happens is for example these guys right softaculous uh, these are these are backups i'm gonna hit first to save space and since i have the absolute path i'm gonna attack them first So it's going to keep going, but now that I already found a whole bunch of them to delete, so I'm going to just hit Control C to stop it. And I'm going to do an RM minus RF. It's basically F is force and R is recursive. If, I mean, that means if it's a folder, it's still going to do it. So let me go ahead and attack them one by one. And one good thing about this uh, Windows command prompt is that uh, you can actually set it up properties, quick edit mode. If you have this checked, then what happens is just by right clicking, it copies, and then another right clicking, it will just drop it exactly where you want it. Just two right clicks. Right click, highlight, and then right click. So, boom got rid of it since I am root on the system so it's gonna just do whatever I say so that's why you have to be very cautious as to what you are deleting all right so now we have done uh, quite a bit so as you can see here the that's uh, this is our old results right it's a 98% and 184 gig. So now we're going to do a DF minus H again. And look, we already cleared up 10%. So we can breathe a little bit easier now. And uh, that means if I just keep continuing the process, I get to bring uh, the space down to a very significant level so that uh, the system will be uh, safe. A reason for this to do it very quickly because uh, when it reached 98% as you can see here I mean by 99% it's gonna start uh, collapsing uh, automated stuff are not gonna function properly and at 100% it will be almost you know inaccessible like just to do what I just did is that is gonna be almost impossible to do when it reaches over 99% so now that you saw what to do, uh, I pretty much uh, went over all the steps. Uh, you can, just by repeating this, you can uh, reach your goal. That's all for now. Thanks.